Hi everyone, Skibidi Toilet Season 15 is over, which means it's time to analyze it in detail. In this video, I will show all the secrets and Easter eggs of the 15th season. We will analyze the theories, why the author of the channel appeared in the last episode, what happened with TV Man Titan and what to expect in the new episodes. Watch the clip to the end, it will be interesting. First, let's take a brief look back at the plot of Season 15. In the beginning, we see TV Man Titan fighting with the infected Speakerman Titan. During the battle, Speakerman is injured and flies away on his jetpack, and TV Man begins to chase him. In episode 46, we see Skibidi Toilet's new invention, the Vacuum Toilet. It looks very dangerous, but Titan easily destroys it with his robotic blades and rescues the swallowed-up cameraman. The chase continues in the last episode. But the infected Titan traps TV Man, and he is met with G-Toilet. But the Cinema Man Titan is well-armed, and he succeeds in resisting Toilet's leader. Buzzsaw Flying Toilet comes to the rescue. He disarms Titan by sawing the speakers off of him. But that doesn't stop Titan from fighting him off and continuing to destroy G-Man Toilet. Then an infected Speaker Man flies in to help and stabs the knife into TV Man's screen. The other Skibidi Toilets come to assist, and Titan teleports away. At the end, G-Toilet attacks our character with a laser, and we see the creator of the Skibidi Toilets appear above him. I call him that because that's the character in the creator's YouTube channel picture, so it means he associates himself with it. Let's now take a look at all the secrets of Season 15. In the earliest shots, we see a man in a suit watching everything from the house. In earlier episodes, we definitely saw TV Man before he appeared clearly. Next, we see a gray toilet helicopter that falls and crashes. The gray toilets first appeared in episode 7. They were police toilets, but then there were gray agent toilets and even SWAT toilets. Apparently, the gray color of the toilets indicates that they belong to some force structure in the Skibidi toilet hierarchy. By the way, TV men's speech can be recognized if played backwards. In this scene, he says, come here. We also see that he has a jetpack but not the same as the cameraman and speakerman titans. Also, listen closely to this moment. Usually you can hear the TV man's inverted speech, but in this moment, it seems like he's silent. Only on the reverse playback, I noticed that Titan says, I will find you. Note that Skibidi toilets are getting jetpacks, even though they didn't have them before. I have one interesting theory about this, but I'll tell it at the end. In episode 46, we see the agent again, casually watching what's going on. We are definitely hinted that he will appear as one of the main characters in the next seasons. Also notice that the Speakerman Titan flies on the jetpack, while TV Man doesn't use his jetpack and just teleports. Apparently his jetpack is weaker, because it consists of only one turbine. By the way, not only Titan has the teleportation ability, but also all TV men. In the same episode, we see the vacuum toilet. He has no eyes and pins sticking out of his ears. These are great defenses against speaker men and TV men because as we've seen in past episodes, sunglasses aren't enough. You might ask how this monster sees. It's simple. He has a little retractable camera at the bottom. We see him whip it out for a second, look around, and then go to attack a spotted titan. Yeah, I guess I agree with TV Man here. That toilet looks really disgusting. By the way, the cameramen who were swallowed by it survived and are freely getting out. But let's move on to episode 47. The infected titan lures TV Man into a trap, but then there's a mismatch. In the original version of episode 47, Titan says, Pathetic Trap. Pathetic Trap. Some have speculated that he says, I think it's Trap. But I can clearly hear the first version. Listen for yourself. Pathetic Trap. But if you listen to his speech in the full season 15 video, TV Man is silent.
Next, we see G-Toilet with new laser cannons. He most likely took them from the destroyed giant toilet soldier from episode 32. But I'll note that these lasers are weak. They don't penetrate the speakers on Titan's chest. Just like the lasers from his eyes couldn't overcome cameraman's metal shield in past episodes. For those who didn't know, the sound that TV Man makes is the THX intro sound. There is a sign on Buzzsaw Flying Toilet's bowl. Some channels say it's the sign of the toilet scientists, but I haven't noticed any such signs on them. So if you know what it means, let me know in the comments. Also, all the new toilet inventions have missing eyes, and this monster that looks like Strider from Half-Life has a welding mask on his face. By the way, the hook chain flies right out of TV Man's hand, and after the Titan teleported, we see a broken jetpack lying under him. The agent in the last shot will most likely join the army of cameramen and the others to help them defeat the toilets. It's a bit of absurdity because he symbolizes the creator and he decides how things will go in the next episodes. I won't make a lot of predictions on this one. When the new episode comes out, we'll be able to see how it's going to be. Now, as promised, I'll give you the theory about the jetpacks. As we remember, in Season 7, Skibidi Toilets ran into the hangar where the Titan cameraman was being repaired. At the end of the episode, he fires his finger and destroys the toilets. After that, the gate closes. But what if a few toilets survived and they reported to G-Man Toilet about where Titan was? After all, we don't see the cameraman again after this episode. Yes, maybe he was modified into a speakerman, because we see that the speakers are easily attached to TV Man Titan's body. But if the speakerman Titan is not a modified cameraman, then another theory arises. Perhaps G-Toilet found the hangar where the broken Titan was being repaired and destroyed it and also took his jetpack. He gets the exact same jetpack in episode 38 as the one that Titan Cameraman had. You can also see that the Skibidi Toilets have learned this technology well, and different kinds of toilets also started to have jetpacks. And it was me, Iso Toilet. Write your theories and guesses in the comments and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. And I'll say goodbye to you. See you soon.